the McDermott here on CNBC. And they're off. And the McDermott. Excellent beginning for value proposition who heads off for the early lead. Astronaut has speed and in between them time for trouble away in the top light. Holding down inside position is Masterpiece. He shuffled back a touch. Getting started on the outside is Barberini and a bit wide on the course in value engineering. Back from there it's Henley's Joy then Marwadi's four wide. Wicked fast is three wide. Back at the fence highest honors and on his outside Shody, Shody, Shody. And a gap of two and a half in the trailer Bama's boy. 24 and 3 for the first quarter as they swing into the stretch for the first time. At a big price, Lionel Reyes at value to proposition off the lead by four. Astronaut will cut his own trip in second in time for trouble third at the inside. Value Engineering's in the pink colors. He's racing fourth six lengths from the pace center. Then Barberini and Wicked Fast. Marwat is on the far outside with Masterpiece saving ground. He's a length better than Henley's Joy. Highest honors remains toward the back of the field, racing ahead of Shody, 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 and the trailer is still Bema's boy. 49 and 1 for the opening half mile around the clubhouse turn they go. Value proposition still isolated up top. He's six lengths to the good. Astronaut is second in time for trouble third. Value engineering is fourth. Barberini is covered up. Marwat is on the outside with Wicked Fast working between them. A gap of another two and a half to Masterpiece. He races by himself, has options on if he wants to angle or stay put toward the rail. Then Henley's Joy and Highest Honors, still at the back, Shoddy, 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 and Bema's Boy. Three quarters and 14 flat as they race to the final half mile. The leader value proposition by two. Astronaut is second, value engineering is third. Marwad in the yellow is getting started out wide in the course. Masterpiece given the green light by Gaff Leon. He's on the move now, up into a joint fourth as they round the far turn. They went a mile and 137 and four. They approach the top of the stretch. Edgar Perez and Marwad have put their best foot forward to take the lead. Value Engineering tries to counterpunch. Masterpiece and highest honors are next. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. With the advantage, it's now Value Engineering. Marwad tries again. Masterpiece tries to pick him up. Here comes Masterpiece down the center. Value Engineering, very game. Value Engineering just in front. Value Engineering would not be denied. Marwad fired a big try second. Third was Masterpiece. Highest honors is fourth in the McDermott. 2 14 and 1. It is just like clockwork for Mike Maker in this race. Has now won it each or in four of the last five years, guys, and does it with the 10 in value engineering. Yeah, I mean, he looked like he had a chance. Uh, it didn't look like an overlay. He was just uh, second in, in the McKnight, which is a prep race for this race. They ran about a month ago here at Gulfstream Park. But Mike Maker just seems to own this horse. Now, he ran a few of them in here, so he had a better chance than most, but he just does a phenomenal job with these horses. Now, he was in with a shot. We mentioned Maker had three horses in here, and they were all live. This one went off at 5-1 to one with Jose Ortiz. I mentioned that in the McKnight, back on Jan 28th, Maker's horses finished first, second, and third. The winner of that race, Red Knight, didn't come back and run today, but Value Engineering was second in the McKnight. So it, it's not a... Uh, you know, it, it's not a result that's uh, really terribly surprising. The horse that did, ran a really good race is the second horse, Marwat. He broke from the outside. He lost ground in all of the turns. He was at least three wide every single of the, one of the three turns that he went through and still just gets to be three quarters of a length. Big effort. And you saw Masterpiece the Gray, you know, make his run. It looked like at one point coming to the top of the stretch, he might wind up being the best horse in there. But like has happened so often in Masterpiece's career, he runs well from off the pace, but he doesn't get first money. Yeah, backing company that might be more suitable to him uh, made a run but not able to finish uh, out front.